Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with bare pull coefficients. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus y equals to log x. Given differential equation. x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus y equals to log x. We know that d is a differential operator. The d square is d square by dx square. Now we can write the given equation as x square into d square y plus x dy plus y equals to log x. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get x square d square plus xd plus 1 into y equals to log x which is a Cauchy or Cauchy's equation. See it has variable questions right. So now we'll reduce this to higher order linear differential equations with I mean higher order linear differential equation with constant question simply by making a substitution put x equals to e power z right then log x equals to z for x z then 0 and let theta equals to d by dz here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z Right? Then x d equals to theta, x square d square equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now, we'll replace x square d square by theta of theta minus 1, x d by theta and log x by z. This equation becomes theta of theta minus 1 plus theta plus 1 into y equals to replace log x by z. This becomes theta into theta theta square minus theta plus theta plus 1 into y equals to z. Then here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled. We will get theta square plus 1 into y equals to z which is in operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z. where f of theta equals to theta squared plus 1. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Let's now find yc and yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta theta square plus 1 right. Let's replace differential operator theta by m so that we will get f of m equals to m square plus 1. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equals to 0. Now we need to find roots of this equation, right? Take plus 1 to RHS, we'll get m square equals to minus 1, then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1. We know that square root of minus 1 is i, so we got a pair of complex conjugate roots. m equals to plus or minus i, the roots are complex. Therefore, m equals to plus or minus i. Therefore, the roots are complex. We know that a plus ib is a complex number. Then its conjugate is a minus ib. Likewise, a minus ib is a complex number. Its conjugate is a plus ib. So, we call a plus r minus ib as a pair of complex conjugate. Right? If m equals to a plus r minus ib, then yc will be e power az into 
c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz right but in our case a is 0 so put a equals to 0 then we will get e power 0 into z is e power 0 into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz right since e power 0 is 1 then we will get 1 into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz equals to c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz right now we can write our complementary function yc equals to c1 cos for b equals to 1 we will get 1 into z plus c2 sin 1 into z which is equals to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. Now yc is in terms of z let's write in terms of x by replacing z with log x. Then yc becomes c1 cos of log x to the base e plus c2 sine of log x to the base e. So these are required yc. Let's now find yp. We will find yp using 1 by f of p, f of theta into RHS part is equals to 1 by f of theta, if theta square plus 1 and RHS is z, right? So this is of 1 by f of theta into z power k form, okay? We will write theta square plus 1 as 1 plus theta square into z. So this looks like 1 by 1 plus x form. So we can write it as 1 plus x whole inverse is equals to 1 plus theta square whole inverse into z. Now we'll expand 1 plus theta square whole inverse using 1 plus x whole inverse binomial series expansion formula 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on. So firstly, let's find derivatives of z. Theta of z is 1, right? Find theta square of z. We have the value of theta of z which is 1. Then derivative of 1 with respect to z is 0, right? Theta square of z is 0. Likewise, theta q of z will be 0. Theta power 4 of z will be 0. And so on. In general, we can write it as theta power k of z equals to 0. For k equals to 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, we can neglect higher derivative terms involving d. Theta q, I mean, higher derivative terms involving theta square, theta q, theta 4 and 0. Sorry, so on. So now let's expand 1 plus theta square all inverse using this formula we will get 1 minus theta square plus theta square whole square minus theta square whole cube plus so on which is equal to 1 minus theta square plus theta power 4. You know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n right then 2 2 is a 4 minus theta 2 3 is a 6 plus so on. See here we are having higher derivative terms theta square, theta power 4, theta power 6 and so on, right? So from here we can neglect all the terms because it involves higher derivative terms whose value for z is 0. 
Now coming to YP. Expansion of 1 plus theta square whole inverse is 1 minus theta square plus theta square whole square minus theta square whole cube plus so on into z, right? Which is equals to 1 minus theta square plus theta power 4 minus theta power 6 plus so on into z. Since theta power k of z equals to 0 for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. So neglect higher derivatives theta square, theta power cube and so on. Okay. Then we can neglect all the terms from here. We will get 1 into z because we are going to neglect minus theta square plus theta power 4 minus theta power so plus so on. Okay, we are going to neglect all the terms from here. So, we will get only the first term minus. So, we will get 1 into z which is equals to z. Now, we got yp equals to z, right? Which is in terms of z. Let's write in terms of x by replacing z. We got yp equals to z. Now, to write in terms of x, we will replace zy log x to the base e. Then yp becomes log x to the base e. This is our required yp. We got yp and yc. So now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 cos of log x plus c2 sine of log x plus yp log x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.